go. Are you ready for a trip? Hello everybody, welcome back to Honeysuckle Homestead Retreat. If you're new to my channel, my name is Desiree, and as you can see, we are headed back to the Tiny Home Homestead. And this is one of the gas stations I really like stopping at because it has a tiny little dog park. So I get to let Gabriel and Gio stretch their legs for a little bit, and it's really good for them, makes them happy <laughs> on our long journey up to the tiny home. Okay, so this week's episode is a culmination of a couple little projects that I just needed to get done. But it also includes me helping out a little tiny wild bird. So stay tuned. There is just something about this view that makes me think of Hawaii. Okay, so if you didn't see last week's episode, um, it was all about me fixing and cleaning my gutters. Uh, but in that episode, I showed a hornet's nest uh, that had fallen. It was attached to the bottom of my chimney. I had accidentally knocked it the night before, and it was on my deck, and so I just disposed of it. But uh, I wanted to prevent any more hornets from forming nest underneath my chimney pipe, so I saw online that you could get these things off of Amazon and you could hang them. And because hornets are territorial, uh, they won't build a nest where they think there's already another hornet's nest. It's also supposed to keep away carpenter bees, which I've seen a few of those around my house as well. So I ended up ordering this off of Amazon and it's not waterproof. It's just made out of a little metal frame with some paper around it. I wanted to make it a little more weather resistant so I just took a plastic bag and I covered it with a plastic bag. And I also read online that you could just use plastic bags. Like you could get a plastic bag, fill it up with other plastic bags and hang those. And hornets, hornets and carpenter bees will think that that's another hornet's nest too. So that's like the best way probably to do it and the cheapest way to do it. Um, I just decided to buy these on Amazon the idea that they had the little metal frame and I thought well that'll be fine so and they weren't that expensive um, link down in the description below to um, these little fake hornet's nest if you want to get one but anyway so I put the plastic bag over it and I hung it up underneath my chimney pipe which is where the other hornet's nest was before so I'm curious to see when I go back up to my tiny house if any more hornets will try to build a nest in that area or not. I'm hoping that it does keep them away. I'm really hoping it does its job. So, fingers crossed. <laughs> okay, now about the wild bird that I had to help. Um, I have noticed that birds have been hitting my very large windows that I have in my tiny house. And it's because all they see is a reflection of like trees and like sky. And so they don't, they can't tell that it's a window. They think it's just more trees and sky. And the birds will just fly like right into the window, like head first, full speed, and it's awful. Um, I knew that birds had been hitting my window whenever I would come and visit because I would see feathers on my deck. I never found a bird on my deck, but I thought maybe a cat or some other wild animal perhaps got the bird while it was in its dazed state, or if it had died, they came and got it. I, I wasn't really sure what had happened to those birds. I just knew that birds had been hitting my window because I saw feathers. So I was trying to figure out a solution to keep birds from flying into my window like that. And I Googled it, of course, like we all do these days. And I came up with this solution. It was to put these decals on the windows and the idea is that it would break up the bird's vision so that it would see something on the window to make it realize that that was a flat surface there and it wasn't more sky and trees. And I had high hopes. I thought, okay, maybe this will work. Um, personally, I don't really like the decals on my window. Just in general, I'm not a fan of them. But um, I thought if this will help the birds from hitting the window, then 
it's it's fine. It does not stop the birds from hitting the window. And the reason I know this is I was in my tiny house and I was working on something and then all of a sudden I heard a big thump and I was like, oh no, I know exactly what that is. And so I immediately went out on my deck and I saw this poor little bird on its back with its head like bent to the side and I thought, oh my gosh, he's broke his neck, he's dead, poor little guy. And I go and look and I, I picked him up and of course, I don't think he liked being picked up by a human, but I picked him up and he, I mean, he really, <laughs> he looked like he may have injured himself badly, but I was waiting to see if maybe he was just dazed. So I held him for a little while and helped him kind of keep his head up a little bit. And he got to the point where he was actually able to get away from me, essentially. And he got away from me and he went under my stairs. And I thought, I'll just leave him alone there. He's probably safer there. And it's better for him to be under those stairs than out in the open on my deck and then baking in the sun because the sun was right on him where he fell. And so there he was under my stairs. And um, as you can see in this video, he was still quite dazed. He's like leaning forward a little bit. And then I went and got him some water. And I think he drank some of the water and he seemed to be doing a little bit better. The next time that I went to go check on him, as soon as I opened the door to the tiny house, I saw him fly away from underneath the stairs into the trees. So I'm, I'm guessing that he's okay now, but I felt really bad. Like I didn't realize how bad those windows would be for like the birds in the area. Um, I really don't know what else to do to fix it. It did make me feel a little bit better knowing that this bird survives. <laughs> so after the bird rescue, I decided to get back to work inside of my tiny house. And something I've been wanting to do for a very long time is to hang up a coat rack. So that is what I am doing here. <laughs> I'm really happy with how it turned out and it's so much more convenient to hang my keys here and the dog leashes and my purse. After finishing up the coat rack, I decided to finally put a handle on one of the drawers in my kitchen. I had already put knobs on all the doors, but I had not bought the proper hardware for this drawer yet. and so. That is what I'm doing here. I am finally adding that on and I am also happy with the way this turned out. This video clip may look like just my field in the dark, but if you look closely, you will see little yellow lights flickering in the field. And those are fireflies. I have a ton of fireflies on my property. They are really hard to film, but if you look closely, you will see the little dots and they kind of all go kind of at the same time and then they take a break and then they all go again at the same time. It's a really unique light dance that they do. But I thought you guys might enjoy seeing it too. Okay, well that is it for this week's episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. I hope you enjoyed the video today. And please remember to like and subscribe if you have not done so already. And also please leave a comment in the comment section below. I'd really like to know if anybody has any suggestions on keeping birds from flying into windows. I would love to hear all your suggestions on that, um, especially if you have something that you know works for sure. Um, so 
yeah, just leave a comment in the section below. And that is it for this week's episode. I will see you guys next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.